Do you enjoy the 2D Metroid series? How about Castlevania, Symphony of the Night, or basically any other Metroidvania style games? Well, if you do, then you know what? I think you're absolutely going to love Strider. By infusing rich and classic arcade action with Metroidvania style gameplay, Strider has reached all new levels of awesome. Not only do you get more powerful by finding new Cypher enhancements, uh, just so you're aware, the Cypher is basically that sword type of thing you see in the video there. But anyways, if you explore enough, you can also find energy tanks, which allow you to use your option of tanks more frequently, and just a wide variety of other goodies, such as rejuvenation and health tanks, and more. Eventually, Strider becomes the ultimate badass, able to reflect enemy projectiles, call forth three different option attacks, including a panther, a droid, and a hawk. And he can even scale the highest building with ease. The gameplay footage you're seeing here is mainly from the earlier portions of the game, because I'm a firm believer in not spoiling anything, and I didn't want to show you all of Strider's more advanced attacks really early on because, well, I want you to go out there and buy this game. It's just that bloody awesome. The game also controls extremely well, so it's not just the fact that this is a Metroidvania style game, it's the fact that it's a very good Metroidvania style game. At no point does Strider feel loose or, or just out of your control, which is really important as he scales the side of a building or comes sliding through an open gate or, or whatever. He's always responsive and pulling off a dazzling array of special attacks with just a few simple button presses, and that's the way it should be. The Cypher can also be upgraded. As you progress, Strider learns the ability to freeze his enemies, repel incoming projectiles, and just so much more. There's a wealth of unlockable goodies here. And what I thoroughly enjoyed was that Strider's famous scarf, or in this version his plasma trail, turns a different color based on which cipher you have equipped, and equipping a new cipher is as simple as pressing the d-pad in a certain direction. Color systems also work great for both the combat and exploration. Certain doors might be blue, meaning you need the blue cipher, and the same can be true for enemies. If they're holding a blue shield, the only way to basically destroy that shield will be to power charge your ice beam attack, or whatever you want to call it. And it's really, really simple because you can switch back and forth with a simple tap of the D-pad. It doesn't really hurt anything. You can easily switch back and forth while pulling off these crazy moves. And like I said, for exploration, it's also very handy. And speaking of exploration, the classic Metroid-inspired map system from Metroidvania games is heavily featured here. It's very detailed, allowing you to easily see where your upgrades are located and where you need to go and look and explore in order to find some more goodies. You'll take a look and be like, oh, I didn't go down this hallway, or oh, what's that over there? Just that's the biggest appeal of this particular subgenre of action games, and it's just great. It's also a very, very great download title in and of itself. It weighs in at around six hours or so, give or take an hour based on how much you explore. But it doesn't matter because overall it's just such a fun experience. It features fantastic graphics and it might take place in one giant environment, but the characters, animations, and level of detail is excellent for a digital only release. What you're seeing here is the PlayStation 4 version. Strider himself also looks fantastic and while I would love to have seen just a bit more color in some of the environments, it actually probably works in the game's favor because both the bosses and Strider offer a nice contrast to the backgrounds because they're so bright in comparison to everything else. The soundtrack and sound effects are also very impressive. The music can be rip-roaring when the action cranks up and the cypher sounds just as powerful as it should and it's not overly annoying, which is good considering you'll be using it basically every second. 
The voice acting is also fairly decent, although a few characters I found were a little bit cringeworthy. About the only thing that sort of let me down was the fact that some of the uh, design elements repeat themselves. So in other words, you could be in one location on the map and then go to another location and it's basically the exact same uh, design. It's just been, you know, say, colored a little bit different or the textures will be a little bit a little bit off or whatnot and that can make the overall environment just uh, sort of blend together I would have really liked a little more variety in the overall environments I think it could have gone a long way in making Strider just perfect almost so if you guys got 15 bucks and you're looking for a great way to spend some time over the weekend, I really suggest you go and download Strider. It's an excellent reboot which should appeal to both longtime fans and newcomers alike. The nice mix between action and exploration feels like a natural fit for the series and I honestly can only hope this is just the beginning of a brand new series of Strider games. Go download this one right now. For the full written review, be sure to check out ProjectCoE.com.